oh, okay, it started filming. Don't know how it does that sometimes, but it just does. Sorry, you can tell he wants to come up. So, hi everyone. Um, if you're new to my channel, I'm Nikki, and this is Charlie. Um, so thank you for popping along. If you're back again, thank you very much. Um, sorry I haven't been around for a while, but I've been really poorly um, with general health stuff, and then I had um, grumbling appendix. Um, I've still got them um, because it's risky for me to have operations. They didn't really want me um, to have it anything done. And it wasn't, I mean, it was really painful, but it wasn't to the extent I needed something done. Um, unfortunately, due um, to a lot of operations I've had to do with my heart, um, it's caused a, caused a lot of scar tissue. And the joys of getting older, the scar tissue gets really tight. So um, I also haven't got all my tummy um, from when I had a really bad infection. Um, so, um, yeah, what happens is when I eat, sorry, I won't go into too much detail, don't worry. When I eat, my intestines get a bit like, I don't like that. And it caused my appendix to get a bit grumbly as well. So everything was going, I don't like this. Um, so I was in a lot of pain, um, not at all well, sick as well, so that really finished everything off. Um, so i just got to keep a close eye on it. They've given me a tablet to try and help um, with it. And every now and then, if I start to feel a full air up, I've been advised just to have soup and lots of hot drinks and stuff and just, very, you know, almost starve myself. So it's something we're going to have to keep an eye on. Um, I'm doing better. I am still really tired from it. It really has drained me because, like I said, my other health problems flared up as well. Um, but yeah, I've done a little bit of crochet off and on with resting and yeah, I'm just taking things easy. Um, yes, yeah, so I stayed with my parents while I wasn't well, so that's where I've been. And hopefully I'll be doing back into my routine of doing videos and stuff. I've just filmed a YouTube short, which I will upload as well today. So I want to try and do some more little videos, just like a little short thing. It might be of Charlie, it might be of other things, because obviously my channel's called Nikki's Crochet More. So I want to show just some other little things. And I might just do them as a short video, like, um, because not only do I love crochet, I like shopping full stop. <laughs> it's a bit of a problem. And yeah, I, I've just brought some new summer t-shirts. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you little things like that, but I'll do it as a YouTube short because I don't want to be doing try on videos because that's a lot of energy. I tried that before. Can I put you down, please? <laughs> and yeah, so it's just little things I want to try a bit different, keep the channel about crochet but also just other things I like like I said I like buying clothes um I like makeup not to the extent where I plaster it on I just like a light look I've put a little bit on today just to perk myself up a bit don't think I chose the best eyeshadow colour for myself today um but yeah I just like going around charity shops and things so I'll be doing little videos with that as well I'm just trying to think of anything else no, i just got a quiet weekend, I think. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. So let's get on to the crochet. So I need to photograph this for Sonia's challenge because this month was texture and I made this um, cow and I used my round looms. I've shown them lots of times before. And I just joined it together, cinched the ends and sewed it together. But her challenge is texture. And I used a yarn. Um, I used two. I used, let me get my glasses. Yeah, they're here. I've got them here now. I've got glasses all over the place. Got a pair at mum's as well. They're everywhere. Um, so I used Buzzing Yarns, hand dyed in Scotland. So I used Colourway pine forest it's hand dyed deluxe tweed yarn so that was for my texture the tweed 75 percent super wash extra fine merino 15 percent nylon 
uh, 10 gram nape yarn, 100 grams, I'm not very good with reading this stuff, 10 hundred grams gain, 225 metres of prox. And yeah, so I, this was in the lovely greeny yarn and you can see the flex. And then I put it with some silly sock yarn from Hobie, which is 75% wool, 25% polyamide superwash wool. And it hasn't got a colour, but it's got the number eight on it. So I presume that's its name. It's a one weight, super fine, two to 3.5 millimetre hook. It's 100 grams or 400 metres. I've got a little bit of this left. Sorry, let's just put them up there and then they're not forever. Yes, yeah, so I just made this cow and I really liked how the silly sock yarn pops through with the tweed. So I'll just put this on. Yeah, so it's just a nice simple cow. Obviously, I won't be listing it at the moment. But I thought if I get a little stock of, um, mind you, today, even though the sun's out, it's really, that wind is really fresh. So I've got long sleeves on. Yeah, it's pretty fresh out. Um, but yeah, I quite like this. And if it doesn't sell, it is something I would keep for myself because I like something here I don't like something too bulky and even though it's got the wool in it it's not too itchy surprisingly so I will be making some more of these off and on throughout the year because um, like I just said it'd be nice if I have a little stock of winter things already made and then I can slowly um, list them so this isn't on there yet but yeah it's really nice and I'm loving using a sock yarn with DK hand dye junk because I'm really liking how that's turning out so I think there'll be some more of these in the future and then oops so I've talked about those so they can go over there and I want this one so I, if I don't talk to myself I don't know what I'm doing and then I finished off the shawl I just want to go back a bit but I didn't want to run him over as you can see it's a really good size um I think when I measured it it's 66 inches along and 34 to the points so let me just put this on so you can see some of the colors but it is so lovely and the yarn I used I've I have put this on my um Instagram and the link for my Instagram to follow me you are, um you need to request to follow me and then I can add you um, also my Etsy shop, I have an Etsy shop if you're new to my channel, um, so I have a mixture of things, so yeah, this was fantasy yarn, and I like that they do, I think they do, is put the colour of the yarn on there, um, yeah, so it's fantasy yarns, they're on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, they also have a website, I got this off, um, Etsy, it's a thousand meters and like I said, it's made a lovely shawl. So I do hope to get some more of these somewhere. 50% cotton and 50% acrylic. I don't think they gave it, um, oh no, cause it was out of the mystery box. So it didn't have a name. It's four threads. They put four really fine threads together. Um, hand wash only, but never mind. It's not my problem. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've loved how the colours of this have come out. So I definitely will be getting some more from them. It was very expensive. So I hate, sorry to say that it is expensive on my Etsy shop. I put it for up for, I'm in the UK, £38.50 and p because it was a really expensive yarn. Excuse me, I'm just gonna sort my nose out. Oh, crumbs. Oh dear. Whew. Sorry, I'm getting a bit flustered there, a um, bit hot. Um, yeah, so I just love all the colours. So I, mean, I am sorry that I've had to put that onto you. But then I sort of think I, um, I've seen a lot of crochet things on some clothing sites. And I'm just like, oh, my God, they're charging way much more than I would. I um, can't remember some of the things, but like I've seen a uh, granny square blanket, just a back and forth one. And it was like 200 odd pounds and I'm like thinking, uh, I've just made one similar size to that and I'm only asking like, 
am I asking? I'm only asking like 20 pounds. So these um shops, yeah, they're certainly um forking up the prices, but I just love it. And yeah, it might be something else I keep for myself. I'm not a big shawl wearer, but I do really like this. I think because of the cotton and that it's drapey. Um, yeah, so that's on my Etsy shop. Let me just come back a bit, not too close and scare you all. Um, just trying to think what else I've done. Yeah, like I said, my desk is getting a bit of a mess. Um, this isn't on my shop yet. I need to do that somewhere, so that might be next week's job. But I just made this little blankie from a pattern that I've had for ages. I could dig it. Um, I might grab that. Just, I'll be back. Yep, I'm still filming, that's all right. Um, so the pattern I used for this blanket, it's really odd because, oh, my hair is a mess. I only washed it yesterday, but look at it. Looked like I've been drawn, drawn through a hedge backwards. Oh, well, that's a good thing with short hair. Nobody really knows too much. Um, yeah, I'll pick you up in a minute. Get down, good boy. I was hoping having the back door open for him would help. But yeah, I got this pattern ages ago. I mean, like good few years ago. It's DMC crochet and it says baby la lace effect shawl. But when I followed the pattern and I'm quite good at reading patterns and this was nicely written. So this is it. Um, so yeah, it kept saying shawl and I started it and it started to look like a little drape and I thought great. And then I started reading it and then it went to the words blanket. So yeah, it's a bit unusual. I didn't use the yarn they said because I didn't have it because it actually suggests DMC Petra 3, which I think is a cotton weight. Um, but I got it, like I said, I got it ages ago. Oops, better not show that, copyright. Yeah, so I got it ages ago. It's only £2.50, so not too bad. But yeah, and then as I kept on doing the pattern, it's it's come out as a small blankie because I've done pretty much the size it says and my tension is not really loose but it is a looser tension um, and then I just did my own border because the instructions for the border were talking about it being like a triangle thing and I thought no this has come out and it went into so you start off with like a foundation row and then you just carry on repeating row two and then it went into rounds. So I really don't know what. So I don't know if there was an error with it, but I think it came out pretty cute. So yeah, just a little baby's car seat blanket. So like I said, I've got to get round to listing that someone. And the yarn I used for that was, glasses again, uh was yarn smiths create baby dk and it is so soft it's a wall house own brand uh shade dk 15 baby lemon it's 100 grams or 3.5 ounces 290 meters or 317 yards 100 acrylic and it says it knits to most dk patterns um, so I used two balls of that for that blanket. So that's not bad, but yeah, just very odd pattern. It is something I would definitely make again. And I've got some different yarns I want to try with it somewhere. So let me just put that back in there so I don't lose that. Just put that there. Um, but yeah, I've got like some of this Aran yarn and I thought that might be fun to do as a blankie someone and then what have I got now so I've talked about them oh, oh and for the border I use Stylecraft special DK weight and then I've made oops come here oops things are falling over a couple of these little um dresses they're really dinky they're a pattern from Mama That Makes. Uh, she does a lot of patterns for um, angel babies and premature babies. So these are what she calls little angel gowns. But I thought I'll sell them as little dresses. 
and then it's just like flapped over in a little button and then I made a little hat using my own idea um, so I've used Stylecraft white <laughs> it's quite obvious what it is white and then for the little trimming I used Paintbox Simply DK in colour 143 I think because I've, I've used something else um, yeah, so I made these little dresses and then I just did this little frilly one and another little hat. So I've made them and I did buy a doll. So when I do my photos, I can show it on that. And I've also used um, her for when I've done my baby blanket. So yeah, I just got this little doll to show them off with. So that is all my finish makes my future idea possibly because my mojo has gone off at the moment i don't know where it's gone just i think because i've made so many things at the moment and that shawl took me ages it was a love hate thing i was like oh next color and then it was like oh crumbs okay that stitch again it was a bit like that um but what i plan to do i can show you this because it's on pinterest and it's free is this I've made this before and it gives a really lovely hexagon effect and what I'm thinking of doing I might change my mind I don't know yet but I've got all this like lovely hand dyed yarn and I don't make socks I know I make the cow things and stuff but I thought well what else can I make that's a bit different so I thought I could make a bunch of these um, hexagons because I've got a mixture of, uh, I've got another three, not of this, but three different hand dyed yarns and I thought it could be an ongoing project and then just put them in a bag and then just pick them out randomly and make a really colourful blanket. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I just need to some little simple things to make at the moment rather than a load of um big things and this yarn is from yep <laughs> my yarn place and i got it on etsy and it's called it's called love hearts superwash merino nylon 7525 100 grams oh throat's gone all croaky 225 meters of prox Hand washing, cool water, dry flat, you know, the usual stuff. So, yeah, really liked the colours in this. So, that is going to be my future project. So, when I next see you, I should have a few um, hexagons made. And I thought that's a really good idea. Well, I thought so. For my hand dyed yarns. Because uh, I like them. It's just I don't make socks. And if I was going to make a shawl with it, I'd need four or five. And that means it would be like, because um, if you're new to yarn, hand-dyed yarn is not cheap. It's between, depending where you get it from, and if you look for sales like I do, it's between 14 and £20 um, that I've seen. Um, yeah, so if I was going to do five balls, um, five skeins, whatever you call it, it would be an awful lot of money. It would cost me £100. And then I don't think somebody's going to buy a shawl for £200. <laughs> um, so I thought if I just do um, some smaller things with it, like put it into blankets and stuff, um, I'll get a little bit more of my money back. I know that sounds really bad that I'm just talking about money, but I do, my Etsy is... A hobby but it's also to give me a bit of pocket money and keep me out of mischief um because I can't do what I call I can't go out to work because of my health I need something to do at home and this just gives me something to do um yeah so that's what my plan is um and I might even keep this for myself I don't know <laughs> we'll just see how it goes I haven't even started it yet um so I think that's all from me I'm gonna have a nice cup of tea put this stuff away and um, yeah an afternoon of making some hexagons so i will see you soon take care everyone bye